Hello all, welcome to Think Automation YouTube channel. If you want to learn more about Qtest, Tosca and other Tricentis product, then this is the right YouTube channel for you. Please hit the subscribe button and share this video to your friends across so that the knowledge will reach to more people like you. Right, let's start with the today's topic. Topic for the day is how to install and configure Tosca server, how you need to do basic setup in Tosca server component. Basically, we have two major components in Tosca. One is Tosca Commander, where you used to do day to day activities like developing test scripts, executing them in your local, and so on. Right. The Tosca server is a component which is the gateway point to integrate with either third party tools with Tosca, or if you want to integrate with CCD pipeline. Tosca server is a mandatory one. You need to configure that and that should be up and running if you want to execute in CACD pipeline or if you do DEX execution. If you want to integrate with third party tools as uh, SAP solution manager or integrate with Qtest. If you want to do implement test data service in your project, all those stuff, this Tosca server is a mandatory one that should be configured. Right. So the Tosca server will be a web based application and it will be hosted by different Windows services in your machines. Typically it will be installed in a specific virtual machine so that the users will have Tosca commander in, in their local and they will be accessing Tosca server which is hosted in other virtual machine. Right. Let's dive into how you need to download and install and do the basic configuration of the Tosca server. To do that, you need to log in into support portal and you can download the software from the support portal. So once you log in into support portal, you, you can go into resources from the home page and you can go to downloads. Once you click that, left hand side you will see you see that project whatever products from Tricentis are getting listed over there you need to choose price in this Tosca and then you, you can choose whatever the version you want to download. I'm going to with 2024.1 the latest version under which you can see the Tosca server. You see price in this Tosca software package as well. You can download whatever you want. Now we are going to deal with Tosca server installation. Now I will be downloading this Tosca server. Before to that, we also have the latest patch uh, available 2024.1 here. I'm just downloading the latest one 2024.1.1. Once you download that, uh, you'll be able to install uh, either in your local machine or in your uh, virtual machine, wherever you want to. Right. Let me start the download now. I have downloaded and installed the Tosca server package in my local now. So here you can see the actual software. So right click your software and run as administrator. This option is very critical since if you if you are not executing installing the software uh, as an administrator there are some errors you will face during the configuration so it is critical that you need to install the tosca server as an administrator typically tosca server will be installed in a virtual machine where service account will be configured and that is that service account will be having admin access right i'm just running as administrator now The installation pop-up comes up. You can read and agree the terms and condition from the Tricentis and click on continue. These are all the prerequisite mandatory .NET framework and the desktop runtime is required to install Tosca server up and running. So these are all will get auto installed when you click on next. And these are all the services that will be installed as part of Tosca server. These are all the features that Tosca server provides. For example, license administration is nothing but it will, it will allow you to manage licenses for the different users uh, in your organization. Uh, test data service, it's a web based uh, test data tool that you can use across your Tosca commander. Distributed execution and AOS is typically used for to distribute your execution to multiple machines. You also have REST API service. There are many useful services that will get installed as part of Tosca server bundle. Just click on next. This is the default installation location. You can always go ahead and uh, 
install this or if you want to change that you can always change that as well uh, this is the uh, diagnostic uh, feature that tricentis offers if you want you can check this and send this data to tricentis or else you can uncheck and proceed with the installation click on next this is uh, too critical during your installation and configuration so typically all clients or customers will be installing with https that's the safest protocol uh, that we are uh, that tricentis is offering again uh, even if you are going to install with https uh, url uh, i recommend you to first install in http port and once the installation is completed i will also guide you how you need to change that to https protocol now uh, even though i want to install https uh, there is a prerequisite prerequisite that certificate you need to generate for the certain url for example i want to install the tosca server in the url saying that thinkautomation.xyc.com this is the url i want to install the tosca server and i want to access it from there as i as i said earlier uh, in the ppt screenshot this is a web based application tool so once you install you you can access it via url or ip address with the port number all those stuff you will be able to do so the recommended way is you can create dns entry with the help of your infrastructure team and with that help of those dns entry or the url you can access the, the tosca server right here i actually i am planning to install with the help of this https uh, with this url but uh, it is always recommended to go ahead uh, with the http method and then change it once the installation is completed i will also guide you how you need to do this change the setup to https back right i will proceed with http setup now the default port is 80 if you want you can change that just click on next again the log location will get displayed if you want you can change that or else you can go ahead with that right now the installation is ready to kick off the installation is getting started let's give it a minute to complete the installation the gateway service is started to install let's proceed with the installation right now the installation is completed successfully it says that uh, completion message successful message let's click on finish and it will open the automatically open the tosca server and their settings in your browser right when the installation is completed you see that it opened in browser with the localhost url you see that it is already installed with http localhost 80 port so if you just write localhost in your browser uh, the tosca server will get open and all the services will be up and running you can now you can you are good to go to do the configuration either for dex or tds or you want to add administration console administration console or license uh, license server you want to add all those stuff you, you can do that with the help of tosca server now i'll be making separate video on uh, all of these features separately so that we will go through the detailed configuration right now we'll just go through the basic configuration what you need to check and how you can convert this to https url now right just click on the uh, settings part just closing this just click on settings once you click on settings you will be required to authenticate the default password is admin and admin you can enter the default password and log in to the tosca server application now the authentication is happening now now you see that the gateway by default installed in http right i will just change this to https now the default port for https is 443 so i will change this to 443 now the host name is nothing but in which url you want to access the tosca server right before entering this url whatever url you are entering in that url you need to get a proper ssl certificate uh, from your it team i am going to install this in thinkautomation.xyz.com uh, make sure there is no space something like that 
right you need not append the https stuff whatever the rest of the url you want to install you can just give it in host name and uh, the prerequisite will be you need to have proper certificate generator from your it team for this url and that certificate needs to be uh, imported into your trusted root folder uh, in your lo certificate local computer if you go to trusted root certificate under certificate i see that the certificate is already imported if you are working in client environment the it team will roll out for uh, in huge manner where the certificate will get automatically imported for all the machines under the network so once the certificate is imported uh, you can get the certificate click on the double click certificate you can get the thumbprint details just scroll down here you will see thumbprint that thumbprint you need to uh, copy it and you need to give it here i have my uh, thumbprint here i'm just gonna copy paste the thumbprint now right and you need to choose where the certificate is the certificate is under local computer and it should be under trusted root certificate authorities right you can save this now once you save this uh, don't click on ok as of now we'll verify all the services and after that you can click on ok as of now you can just click on close right uh, you we i will make separate video about file service how you need to configure and all but as of now you make sure that it is running and the default database connection is mentioned over there right other than that just come here to notification service and make sure it is running and make sure that database local sqlite database is already there yeah that that's all about uh, the configuration basic configuration what you need to do in all services make sure you go to all services and check that it is running state uh, and you also need to do the last thing in authentication service again whatever certificate thumbprint you have put in the gateway service the same thumbprint you need to put it over here as well and you need to choose the same path whatever you have chosen in the gateway service trusted root certificate authorities right after that you can click on save this is the last settings you need to do one will be in gateway other will be in authentication and you need to make sure all other services are up and running once you make sure that uh, click on save and click on close uh, click on ok this time it will restart all the services whenever it restart the services then only whatever changes you made in the configuration on the settings page that will taken into effect or else the settings will will be just saved it will not be uh, effect in in your real day to day life you need to restart the services to take that effect all right it resulted in this kind of error there are some time it will be resulting in this kind of error at that time what you need to do you need to go to your start menu just search for services and the services window services will get open there you can try to uh, restart the tricentis related services uh, one by one first you can uh, try to restart each and services uh, one by one something like this uh, just start this manually if it is not started if it is in running status you need to uh, restart the services accordingly right now the services are getting restarted successfully you can see that uh, services like authentication service uh, gateway service project service and most of the services are restarted now we'll we'll go into browser just type the url that we have configured like think automation xyc.com and let's see how whether the tosca server is getting launched or not think automation dot xyz.com right you can see that tosca server is up and running in the https protocol whatever the certificate you have installed based on that the server is configured now yeah that's all for the day i have we have successfully downloaded and installed tosca server and did the basic configuration like hosting in uh, in a separate url with https protocol in our upcoming videos we will see about how you need to configure dex with aos how we need to configure notification service and other tosca server features in a separate video please hit the subscribe button and like this video 
so that the content will reach to more people thank you